Hi, my name is Stacey Chalemi and I'm a health coach and the founder of The Complete Herbal Guide, a website that teaches people how to heal the body naturally and maintain optimal health. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that a lot of people have been inquiring about. It's about hair loss, but we're not going to discuss about men and hair loss, a topic that's very common amongst our society. Today I wanted to talk about hair loss and women and what they go through and what they experience. Well, a lot of women today experience hair loss, and most people don't realize, but 50% of women, fewer actually than 50% of women, will experience hair loss at some point in time. Most of the time you'll notice that women start to experience hair loss around midlife, around the time where they start to go through perimenopause or menopause and their hormones start to change. Also, taking different medications, as you get older, we tend to find that we experience different medical conditions. People like doctors will put you on medication and sometimes those medications will have adverse side effects that can cause hair loss. And it's also hereditary too. A lot of people don't realize, but a lot of times when you're experiencing hair loss, it's because of a hereditary um, experience. And also, um, a lot of times they think, oh, it's probably on the mother's side of the family, but it's, it can happen if you're, it's on the mother or the father's side of the family, not just one or the other. Now, hair loss for women, a lot of times we don't experience the same way. A lot of times women will experience hair thinning rather than baldness, like men will experience different baldness in the front or the, the, the forehead, or they'll notice in the back they'll start to get baldness spots, where women tend to feel that hair thinning. They might put their hair through their head and say, wow, my hair doesn't feel as thick as it used to be. And that's because their hair is starting to thin out. And sometimes it could even be vitamin deficiencies. A lot of things change as we get older, and these are some factors that we have to look at. Now, there are some ways that we could actually help to add, make the, the, the thinness uh, stop, and we can prevent the thinness from occurring, and we could even stimulate regrowth. And a lot of ways um, you can do that is by doing, using different types of herbal supplements. And different herbal supplements that are really good is saw palmetto. This saw palmetto is a, an herbal supplement that actually targets the DHT, the main culprit in genetic hair loss. And what it does, it actually stimulates regrowth. And also biotin is a great vitamin. It's an essential B vitamin and it helps to thicken the hair, it helps to regrow the hair, and a lot of people who take biotin actually notice a big change in the, in the health of their hair after taking it for a while. I myself take biotin, and I've noticed a huge change. I've been taking it for the past year, and I've noticed my hair has changed dramatically ever since I've used biotin. My hair used to be about shoulder length, and it wouldn't grow, and I was getting so frustrated. It was just growing so slow, little by little, and I noticed also when I was in the shower, I would see breakage on the bottom of the shower, and my hair didn't feel as thick, and I was really getting concerned, and I was looking in the mirror, and my hair looked brittle. It wasn't shining anymore. It just didn't look like the health was there anymore. So I started using biotin, and I started using pumpkin seed extract, and studies established that pumpkin seed extract actually stimulates hair healthy hair growth, and it also it suppresses the harmful effects of DHT and increase in circulation to the scalp, and it does great things. Also caffeine, caffeine is, studies have established that caffeine can actually stimulate the follicles to grow thicker and stronger hair. Now these are all things that I were doing, and I noticed a huge change in the health of my hair. My hair this started to grow really quickly, and not even just my head, but my eyebrows, my eyelashes. You know, I was noticing hair growth all over the place. It was amazing, and I just was so excited about it. And I also uh, had uh, used canine fruit extract. It also studies have shown that it also um, helps the circulation and provides necessary nutrition for the scalp, and it also um, promotes hair growth as well. Now, when I was using all these things, I was introduced to a shampoo, and this shampoo is called um, hair restoration, shampoo, and conditioner. And when they, were when they were telling me about all the different ingredients in here, they were telling me a lot of the ingredients that I've already, I've already been using. All these supplements um, that I was using um, are in these shampoos. And I thought that was great. I don't have to take all these supplements. It's actually in this shampoo. I can moisturize it into my head. It'll go into my scalp, into my body, 
and it, it, it can change the health of my hair. I was so excited. So I started using it and I started noticing that the health of my hair was continuing. The growth, the vibrance, the radiance, everything kept working. So I was telling my husband who had struggled with hair loss since his mid-20s and I asked him to try it and see what he thought and he noticed he, regrowth of his hair. Uh, he was so excited. He started to notice that his hair became thicker and healthier and a lot stronger than it was. So, you know, I was really excited about using this shampoo uh, by Hair Restorations and I just want to, you know, uh, talk a little bit more just about uh, these different supplements that was going over. Um, you know, B12 is also a very good vitamin to take. It also helps with healthy hair growth. And all these different vitamins and supplements that I've been mentioned, like green tea extract, you know, studies have shown that green tea extract is rich. Um, and in, in different um, vitamins and it also can stimulate hair follicles to improve the anchoring and promote stronger, healthier looking hair. These are all different types of supplements that you really should consider using on a daily basis and trying to incorporate in your lifestyle. These things could actually help you and also help to promote the hair, the hair growth that you've really wanted and longed for so long. I hope some of these tips that I gave you really helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the comment box. And if you really enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll listen to more of these videos as we, you know, we've been trying to work on, you know, helping people with all different types of conditions. And, you know, and once again, I really, you know, enjoyed using this, this shampoo and conditioner. It was like amazing. It just has been helping my hair tremendously. Thanks so much. And I hope you listen again.